you know, I've always had this addiction to surfing. Like, since I was a kid, um, I was always wondering why, like, the waves would be really big during, like, you know, the burr months, like December, you know. So, like, as a kid, I'd be like, we'd steal the, we'd steal the, the bodyboards of the hotel. And me and my god brother, Manuel, and, uh, and also his brother, uh, Mike, we'd take the bodyboards, go to the beach, and like, we were like nine or 10 years old, man, like, and just surf the whole day. Like, and you know, um, I didn't know that 45 minutes from a go was San Juan La Union, <laughs> where they actually had a legit surf spot and they had surfers. So can you imagine that was like, mid 80s, late 80s, something like that. Anyway, fast forward to, I, to uh, 1997, I turned 18, and then, you know, I pick up a flyer in the first surf shop in the Philippines called Surf World in SM Megamall. And it's this flyer and it says Hiroshi Yokohama Surf School. And, uh, you know, I was with my friend, we looked at the flyer and we're like, what, they're surfing here? All right. To get better. Thank you. Okay, thanks. And then, like, um, so, yeah, where was I? Yeah, so I see this flyer, and <coughs> immediately, me and my buddy, we like, we're like, that same weekend, we called up Hiroshi, and we're like, hey man, we want to surf, we want to learn how to surf. From that moment, bro, like, from riding the first wave on a real surfboard, like, I was hooked. You know, same old story, it's so cliche, but yeah, I'm one of those guys who got addicted to surfing. This is 2005. I started studying, you know, the possibilities, creating the slowly building the business plan, uh, the business model for this, and um, finding locations, right? So that's how it started, man. Like um, eventually, like we looked at the map of the Philippines from Manila, and we tried to see where the closest beaches were. And we found places like Real Quezon, uh, we, you know, we even found a wave pool right here in Metro Manila, you know what I mean? So, like, um, yeah, from there, from then on, that's how it started, okay? Philippine Surfing Academy just was my passion. It was everything I wanted to do. It wasn't about the money. It was just really wanting to do something that, you know, was related to surfing.
nag-start ako mag-serve is 2009. Um, nagpunta sila uh, Coach Paolo doon. Uh, nag sila ng surf race sa mga beginner. Then, na ko sila. Then, yung mga friends niya. Then, umihiram ako ng mga boards. Pero before kasi, I'm a fisherman. Eh. Tapos yun, hanggang sa natuto ako. Age na may ano na ako nun. May pamilya na ako nun sa totoo lang. Si Paolo mismo yung nag-ano sa akin. Nag-invite sa akin na work ka sa akin as a coach. Um, magtatayo, mag-ano, mag-business ako ng gawa ng surfboard. So, doon ako nag-start na napasok sa kanya. Kaya naging surfing instructor ako, head coach. Then, dito ako sa eskwala sa Sander and Laminator. You should always wear a mask, Francis, but you know, I think he's a vampire. Look at his hairstyle. Blade. What are you doing, Francis? Staff sack, lamination. Okay, so this is we mix uh, we mix this powder called stop sag with the uh, epoxy. So right after the black comes out, uh, fresh from the shaping room, we have to seal it. We gotta seal the, the foam because it's you know these are all these are all foam beads that expanded into uh, um, this sort of like this this block which we shape. So if you look closely, you can really see all the beads and right now, the first step is to seal this with a mixture of epoxy and, and, this, and this powder called stop sag. So that keeps, um, that keeps any air from coming out. So when I started, you know, I had, I had to hire surf instructors from different surf spots, uh, you know. Um, well, at first it was just me, right? And then, as we evolved, we started hiring more coaches. And um, one of my coaches was from Shargao. Fast forward to 2010, when uh, my surf coach told me, hey man, you know, I know how to shape. Right? That's when we decided, let's give this a shot. Like, why not? Why not, right? So, uh, I remember we getting the first block of foam, cutting the first blanks, and... Um, <laughs> I remember he didn't even have a template and he just shaped this like 8-0, this 8-0 mini mount and it was so nice. And then I, I remember uh, coming up with the name Squala. Actually, Squala is a term, it's basically like slang for power slide um, in a car. Like when you, when you drive really fast and then you hit a turn and you just yank the, the handbrake and it just does this like 90 degrees power slide, right? So that's what they call it, squala. We love fishes, retro fishes. Like the funnest board you could ever surf. This is super laid back style of surfing, you know what I mean? It's like a really wide short board. It's got a lot of room for error. So it's not really gonna demand too much on like technica technical surfing wise. It's not gonna really demand too much. Okay, okay this board, is actually okay. uh, for Mr. Derek Chongyan in his resort Sky and Shane in Shergao. So Derek's a good friend of mine from Cebu yeah. and he ordered this 9-2. This is a 9-2. High performance longboard shaped by none other than JB from Cantilan Suigao del Sur. Nagsimula ako pag-surf ng 
di kurma tandang kung ilang anong taon na yun eh pero sobrang tagal na pero nag start ako nun yung isang nagturo sa akin na matanda na foreigner din Richard Matthews siya yung nagturo sa akin mag-sir na siya nagturo sa akin paano mag-sanding ng board hanggang sa natuto ako napadpad ako dito pinakaunang trabaho ko dito glasser glasser sanding yun lang talaga ang trabaho ko hindi ako nag ano si shape nung wala na yung shaper namin yun nagumpisa na ako mag-shape dito sa akin lang mas maganda kung yung customized house dito bibili kasi pag once na sinasabi mong customized sarili mong board yan eh sarili mong sukat sarili mong gustong board yun hindi naman lahat ng board pwede mong gamitin eh may saktong sukat talaga para sa gagamit ng board sobrang sarap sa akin lalong lalo na kung nai-enjoy nung mismo ni Are yung board na gawa ko talagang kumbaga sa akin lang sobrang gaan sobrang blessed na na-appreciate niya yung board na ginawa ko easy to say squad you know it's so easy. it feels good when you say it you know what i mean it's like stress relief you know anti anxiety word dude squala right so that's how it started man and then like um it was just really a lot of investment uh, a lot of hidden miss a lot of mistakes a lot of bad products a lot of you know like just but like you just learn from these mistakes and you just get better and what's nice is the, the synergy that you build with like your team what like these guys who work for you i mean it's amazing like these guys were fishermen before and they live very simple lives now they have jobs they're getting paid more than minimum wage and they're doing what they love too which is shaping surfboards making surfboards teaching people how to surf so you know it's just i think that's what really is the driving force for me now it became more than just coming up with a cool brand and you know living my passion it became like wow it became a bigger responsibility now the companies they are not just for my satisfaction but it feeds families you know these guys have families you know it's like a brotherhood with my guys with my crew and it's pretty cool like you know surfing is actually not like any order any other business uh it's different it's like you're passionate about something you don't do it for the money so it becomes very personal and you know you get to meet the families you get to you know you treat them like family too so it's really a different vibe uh running this business um but that's what makes it really special because all of a sudden it's no longer work it's like this is we, this is what we do this is our purpose it really it's purpose driven you know what i mean it's like this is what we're here for this is what we live for and i love it i love the fact that we can give create something by hand and put so much soul and heart into a material object that it no longer is just a material object you know this is like the source of stoke for for someone you know and it's just that's the most rewarding feeling i i'd say would be like you know when a client gets their board and they use it for the first time and they get stoked on it and like they message us like dude thank you so much for this you know it's not like it's not like oh they're satisfied with the product whatever this is something that affects their lives you know at a at a higher level and i love that i love the fact that we can teach people how to enjoy surfing in the safest possible way and i love the fact that we can provide them with with the equipment to achieve this stoke you know it seems superficial to the normal average human being but like for us surfers it's, it's, it means everything yeah Sing all those classics. 
classic song Drink while this glass is full Cruise up to chance, come and do as I am No illusions or acting, bro Let's live up to classic song Drink while this glass is full Cruise up the chance, come and do as I am No illusions, it's all I need Look at me in some hands Got a swish in my hands And my people in my hands